everybody, this is Terry Nance, and I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. Trust you're having a blessed day. This is the day God created, and he created it just for you. You know, Jesus made the statement that we're not to worry or even think about tomorrow. Everything in God is today. He is the God that was, the God that is, and the God that is coming. And so God lives in the is. So something good today is going to happen to you. And I want you to say that. You know, I hear from uh, people around the country. And, you know, it's it's such a blessing because most of them who are contacting me, they always say something good is going to happen to me. And so that, that's catching on. And that's a blessing because, you know, God, his goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. So it is ours. We need to declare it. You know what faith does? Faith is appropriating what grace has provided. You are simply receiving what God says. And it's very important that we, of course, receive that. And so you ha- you're going to have a blessed day today. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe. And of course, send the link to other people. I just really appreciate those who are sending this link. I'm getting contact with others uh, just all over this country because this is such an important time in the body of Christ. And I believe this message, the armor bearer, is more relevant than ever. I have received some very strong prophetic words recently and that uh, this is the time for the armor bearer. And it's just a confirmation. The Lord told me there's going to be an armor bearer awakening. And so there is an awakening that's taking place. And so uh, it's your time. So just receive that word from the Lord and uh, God's going to bless you. God's going to help you just to hold up the arms of your pastor. If you enjoy the videos, again, subscribe, but go to godsarmorbear.com and you can get all the books. And if you would like to be a part of my mentoring program, you can see all the information there on the website. You know, I just got in uh, yesterday uh, from doing the conference out in uh, San Antonio, Dr. Uh, Jose Rodriguez, and and he had me come in and do the vision of the house. Now, I do the Armor Bear Conference, then I do book three, which is the Running With Your Pastor's Vision, and we had such an incredible time. Uh, people are hungry, and it, it, and it blesses me because of the honor that they give. You know, when you're teaching and they're just pulling it out of you, man, I tell you, it's such a blessing to me. And it, the time goes by so fast. I mean, we do four hours of teaching on each of the conferences. But uh, one of the things I want to just uh, make sure that you have this revelation of is that it is time for the believers to receive uh, a revelation of the vision of the house. You know, every pastor and every leader, uh, it may be an apostle, it may be a prophet, it may be a pastor, What whoever is running and operating as the head of that local body, as the uh, head elder of that body, he, that person is the visionary. Now, it's extremely important for that individual to communicate the vision to the people, then it's our responsibility to come and not stand behind our leader, but stand with our leader. We are, we are there not to compete. We are there to complete. You each have a call of God on your life. You have a vision on the inside of you. But when you release your vision, lay it down, take up the vision of the house, then what, what will God do? Whatever you make happen for someone else, God makes happen to you, for you. God will bring your vision to a place, uh, of fulfillment. So as you run with the vision of the house and the vision of the house, there's a place of safety that you're under accountability. You're under your leadership and you are standing there, uh, with that spirit, and that heart of an armor bearer to serve that local church. Now, it is time we get plugged in to that vision. You know, I remember I traveled international for many, many years. And I remember I took the time and I, I bought a hairdryer. Man, I could use that hairdryer. I could go from 110 to 220. I could use it anywhere in the world. And I spent a lot of money on that hairdryer. But you know, the thing about it, I don't care how much 
how much I spent on that hair dryer. And that hair dryer was extremely gifted. I mean, it would. It was, it lasted for years and years. It was sturdy and man, it was built for international travel. But the thing is, no matter how much I spent on it, how gifted that hair dryer was, it'll never work until it gets plugged in. It has to get plugged in. Now, God provides the electricity. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. But I believe the outlet is the local church. Uh, God raised up the local church through the Apostle Paul. Our New Testament churches, Antioch was the first church that was birthed. And then from there, God sent Paul. He didn't send him just on evangelism uh, crusades. No, Paul was sent out to raise up local bodies. And he established elders. He established deacons. He established the ministry of helps. He laid out the governmental foundation for the local church. So you have to see that that is uh, I say the local church is the silo. It's where the where the harvest comes in. And the Bible tells us that in Hebrews chapter 10, 23 through 25, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he is prom- he who promised is faithful. Let us consider one another to stir up one another in love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as in the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much as we see the day approaching. Now notice that, the day. He's talking about Jesus returning and he says we're to consider one another and that we are to stir up. That word stir up literally means uh, it means to provoke each other. It means to uh, excite each other. It also means to urge each other, to irritate each other, to prick each other. Man, it, you know, you've got a scriptural right to irritate some people. So I don't mean to irritate you this morning, but get in your local church. Get established in the body of Christ. That's what the Spirit of God is saying today. And so I want to encourage you, especially as an armor bearer, you know, people in your local body that are, you know, on the sideline and they're not getting back in that body. Call them, talk to them, uh, give them this scripture. Man, Jesus is coming and, and we've got to, we've got to support our pastor and we've got to get back into the local church. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I bless everyone watching this broadcast today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up the light of his countenance. And may God give you peace. Have a blessed day.